Hi everybody and welcome to Mindful Mondays. My name is Miss T. Thank you for joining me today in this session. Today I'm going to be talking to you all about creating a take a break space either in your home or maybe in your backyard or front porch or maybe even in your car. Today we are dealing with a bunch of different things and changes that can cause us to maybe stressed out a little bit or maybe we feeling err or we might be feeling a little sad and it's okay to feel all of those emotions but we need to make sure that we're creating a healthy way to deal with all of those some of you all might already be familiar with a take a break space or a calm down corner and for those who aren't i'll explain it so a take a break space or a calm down corner is simply a separate space away from everything else in your area in your home and just allows you to sit by yourself and refocus and really tune into what you're feeling and also to calm yourself down today what i'm going to be showing you all is a bunch of different objects you can actually put into your take a break space now i do have to mention first going into the take a break space is not a punishment i repeat going into the take a break space is not a punishment you're only going there to calm down, refresh, and to reset yourself so that way you can get back to your activities that you are working on. Now, I'm also going to be showing you all a bunch of different objects you can put into your calm corner or your take a break space. Now kids, you do have to ask your parents permission before you just go taking objects around the house. They might be in use and you just want to make sure it's okay before you go around taking random items from the house. Okay? so. One of the few things that you can add, um, let's say that you are a big writer, you like to journal, you like to jot things down, okay? What you can have in your calm corner is your own notebook, okay? So in your notebook, you can jot down how you're feeling, anything that you're thinking about, maybe something that's making you sad or anything that you're stressed about, okay? As you can see, I've already been writing in mine here, so that's one thing, a cute pen, pencil, okay, and a notebook. Instead of writing, maybe you like to color. So you can add coloring sheets and crayons into your calm corner or take a break space. So here I have some coloring sheets that my nieces and nephew actually made for their Nana and Papa. So I'm just gonna show these here, okay. So it's a Few, quite a few different coloring sheets that you can have you can print it and put those into your take a break space for you to relax with another thing maybe you also like different art but not necessarily coloring that's also fine you can have in your calm corner maybe you like to do coloring pencils some markers or you also like coloring but it doesn't just necessarily have to be coloring sheets. You can also add in just some construction paper in which you can draw, paint, whatever comes to your mind, you can put that into your space. One other thing you can also add is maybe you like things that smell good. Maybe you have a favorite perfume or a favorite cologne, or maybe you have a favorite lotion. So this lotion here I actually got from one of my best friends for my birthday and whenever I put it on I'm reminded that I'm important and that somebody cares about me. So you just need a little bit, you can do a little, just a little spray, you know, just to calm your nerves. One other thing you can have, some people call it a fidget toy or fidget spinner, fidget item, whatever you like to call it. It's just something that you can have, you can touch with your hands. So here I have a wooden puzzle that I picked up from the office. I haven't quite solved it, you know, to be completely honest, but that's okay. Maybe I'll solve it the next time I'm in my take a break space. And then as an additional bonus, maybe you guys like to munch on something. Do we have any snackers out there? Yes? So you can actually add your favorite snack into your take a break space. So here I have some of my favorite chips. Maybe you like cereal or granola. You can also add those into your calm down space. <laughs> so just to review, your calm down space is simply somewhere where you go to relax and to reset yourself so that way you can join back into your activities for the day. 
your favorite snacks, maybe your favorite lotion or perfume, or come on, whatever you like. Maybe you like to do different art activities, so using your markers and your crayons. Get you a little fidget toy. You can also even add in a pen or pencil that you can just click, just to calm yourself. Get some coloring sheets. And a pen and a notebook. So it's really up to you and what you have access to around your home. Kids, make sure you're asking for permission from your parents before you grab things. And so that's all I have for you all today. Thank you for joining me on Mindful Mondays. My name is Miss T. Keep watching to see the calm corners that me and my team have also created. So that way you get a little more inspiration because some of these objects might not work for you. Maybe you have your own special flair that you want to add in. That's also fine. So remember to be mindful, be healthy, and continue to make the world a better place in your own special way. Bye.